at CES 2018, Intel shone the high beams on the road ahead for its self-driving car strategy. We all know Intel for its processors, but in 2017 it made a major acquisition in Israel-based Mobileye. Mobileye specializes in computer vision and has developed its own processor, the IQ chip. This isn't Intel's first foray into the automotive sector. It's worked with Tier 1 systems manufacturers and OEMs in the past on infotainment systems. Now that it has the technology for self-driving cars in place, Intel is shifting into the next gear and collecting all the data it needs to train its neural networks. This morning here at the booth, we see more technology that's embedded inside of those test autonomous cars here, as well as BMW's own test car uh, that it's going to use the same Mobileye and Intel technology for a fleet of 40 of its vehicles to test on the roads around the world uh, this year as well. To create a self-driving car, Intel is combining its processing expertise with that of Mobileye. Mobileye's cameras are embedded all around the car, giving it a full 360-degree view. On the front and back of the car, there are LiDAR and radar sensors to understand what surrounds the car. An Intel Atom CPU and an IQ5 processor are also on board to handle all the thinking this car has to do. What's being represented here is the technology inside the vehicle to make it work. And so uh, uh, the cameras especially, the camera suite is the, is the sensor that's kind of leading the sensor suite to be, um, to be the eyes of the vehicle. We also have um, uh, an Intel and Mobileye compute platform in there that we're calling the brains of the vehicle. Intel announced its own fleet of 100 vehicles will be ready for internal testing this year. It will be working with partners in the auto industry to test these cars and conduct research. Also, CEO Brian Grzanich says he'll be driving one to work. The scope of Intel's data mining goes well beyond these 100 cars. Mobileye also announced partnerships with several ride-sharing firms located around the world. From New York to London and beyond, thousands of vehicles will be connected to Mobile 8 Connect. This system will help drivers avoid collisions, for one, and it will also collect high-definition video footage of city streets to help create incredibly detailed maps. Plus, Intel has partnered directly with some of the top automaker brands in the world. 18 months ago, BMW announced that it was working with Intel and Mobileye. Now it's ready to bring 40 development vehicles to the road to explore completely autonomous driving. These vehicles also integrate mobilized technology. So we have two different types of research and development vehicles. We have vehicles which are focused on freeway driving and vehicles which are focused on urban driving. Those vehicles collect data out on the roads daily from around the world. Um, we have vehicles in China, vehicles in Israel, vehicles in Europe, vehicles in the US. Those vehicles collect data on the order of terabytes per hour. And when the drivers come in at the end of the day, we ingest that data. We uh, transfer it into our uh, data centers and then parse the data, so pull the data out of the data streams. We then uh, run algorithms on that data to evaluate which pieces are worth keeping, which pieces are not worth keeping, which pieces are important to train from. We have methods while we're in the car and methods after the drive to annotate that data with interesting situations. By 2021, BMW plans to release a fully self-driving vehicle that will be part of a new vehicle on-demand service that it launches. It also plans to sell directly to consumers a car that is self-driving in many situations, but still requires a driver to take the wheel sometimes. By the way, BMW just announced that it's become the sole owner of Drive Now, the car sharing program that it co-founded in Europe in 2011. Thanks for watching All Hands on Tech. For IT World Canada, I'm Brian Jackson. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on self-driving cars coming later this winter.